thank you, Yair. First of all, when I met Nambi Narayanan, I thought I'm going to make a cheap man's James Bond film. But at the end of the day, when I actually met him, I was blown over by his aura, his his tejas, his uh, his eyes, his anger, his you know passion. And he was still upset that you know people uh, had not uh, forgotten about the spy case, and he was still being referred to as a spy case. And I said, sir, they've already proved you innocent. And he said, yeah, but in the Google, it is still saying it's for a spy case, Nambi Narayanan. And I said, I don't deserve that. But when I met him, I realized that there was far more important things to him, which somehow nobody. Uh, has understood or talked about, but I didn't know what it was. And after writing the script for about seven months, one day casually he started talking about his achievements, and that's when I knew what I was missing. This man has written a book where he's not written about his achievements. He's lived a life of a of a of a James Bond's father-in-law. I think he's like that powerful a life, you know, from France to. Uh, his achievements in uh, in Princeton and Scotland and going to the USSR when it was breaking down and smuggling engines from there. I mean, it was. It was a spectacular story, but he didn't think it was important to mention all that because he didn't consider that an achievement. He didn't even talk about the fact that he has made the only liquid fuel engine that, in, that uh, ISRO has, which is indigenous, and has uh, n- has a record of never having failed. And this is a, a, a fact that's celebrated around the world, and we didn't even know about Dr. Nambi Narayan. And for that, that aspect of it completely hit me in my it was guttural, and I I decided then that I have to tell his story no matter what. I stood up and I told Nambi Narayan that if you think I'm going to make a story on a case, then you're wrong. If you think I'm going to make a movie where I'm going to show you only good qualities of yours and show you as a Mariada Purushottam and a scientist who's been wrong, you're wrong. I want to know your most brutal qualities. I want to know what your inhuman qualities are. And then I want to show them, despite which, what you've done for the country and how, as a country, it's absolutely a national disservice not to know about your story. And when, uh, when the first time you met him, what was the first question you asked did you ask him? I asked him, did he actually have the affair with a Maldivian woman? Okay. And uh, what was your motto behind making this movie? And uh, like you are doing three, three D, three dimension. Uh, you are acting, you are directing. Four uh, dimension. Yeah. Writing, directing, yeah. producing, and. Well, which which part was very difficult for you? I think you know was if I look at it separately right now, I think that uh, um, it, I would have never done the film. If I had, I mean, I look back and I think all the challenges that we have faced or would have faced, if I had known about it, I don't think it's a rational decision to do this film. But at that time, we were possessed. We were actually, like I said, you know, earlier, insane. We have to be insane to do something like this, you know. And that insanity had crept in, not just in me, but all my my staff and crew. And uh, somehow, no department, no job, no uh, challenges actually looked foreboding enough because we saw what Dr. Nambi Narayan had done. We saw what he had faced and even now he was still going India, India. So I look back and I I can't even figure out even now. I think maybe because of the exhaustion, maybe because of the confusion that I have right now. I have not slept for six days. But I can still tell you that I look back right now and I can't imagine which part was difficult. It just looked like it was all meant to be and we smiled, we sailed smoothly through everything. Even you broke your we had to make sure that every aspect of the film was believable because everything we were saying was absolutely true. Um, so I didn't want one aspect of the film which is actually looking like Nambi Narayan in different age groups from 29 to 69 be or suspect in the sense that they should be thinking, ha, huh, they haven't put in an effort, enough effort to make the wig look real or the moustache look real or the, you know, they've done so much of graphics to make the person look thin. For me, uh, that was not acceptable. So we actually, uh, are the, we are the first film that has shown this age group without prosthetics. And uh, we've all put on weight, lost weight, put on the beard, lost, and changed the shape of my teeth and my jaw uh, to look like Dr. Nambi Narayan. And then, uh, um, and then I'm very happy, actually, that we managed to pull through with it. And Shahrukh sir is also there. Yeah. Sir is there. Tell us something, the story behind it. So uh, I'm very grateful to Shahrukh and Surya because uh, they have been immensely supportive of this film. Shah Rukh sir didn't take a pie from me. Uh, he, in fact, he insisted that he wanted to be part of the film and he wanted, a, he wanted um, uh, you know, just do a passing role from the background and I couldn't have that. But <clears throat> when I told him that there is a role, but I don't know if you have the dates or the time, he said, tell me what you need, how many days you need and he didn't take any money. He, he spent his own money actually and then he did this film for us in English and in Hindi. And Surya did this in, in Tamil for us. I mean, this is, uh, if you ask me, like I said earlier, if there are good people in the industry, then I will tell you with a complete secure, surety, because of Shahrukh and Surya, there are some fantastic people in the industry. Uh, okay, so the trailer got released uh, one year back. One year back. back. Hmm. And what made that, like, July it is going to release? long time? No, that is because we had COVID and lockdown. So, uh, you know, because of the lockdown, I could not afford to release a film 
in small theatres. I had to wait for the theatres. And I think this is the longest film that has waited um, for so long. But I'm very happy that it's finally going to the theatres because that's where the glory of the film will be seen uh, as it is, should be. And any research, like how many questions do you ask? There are, like uh, when we do a biopic, we ask so many questions. And how many questions did you ask? Before um, about 6,340. I'm just kidding. I'm just saying, it's. I don't think he ever. We ever stopped asking questions. Even now, we keep asking him. You know, and there is a 50-year, uh, you know, life of his, uh, and he used to. We used to ask him questions in the middle of the night, and he would answer with equal uh, interest and zest. Even uh, when we read his book, the, the, the one thing which is left hmm. behind the book, like his achievement. Correct. There are so many things written in that book. His uh, like life, uh, how he went up, down. But the achievement is uh, not written. Yeah. So can we see that achievement in this book? I think because he himself didn't consider his achievements as achievements. His book only consists about the spy case because that's the only thing that was hurting him. But I thought it's a bigger injustice not to know about him. So once you know what he's done, I don't think anybody will remember about the spy case. Lastly, what do you want to say? Oh, we've put in a great amount of effort, but this, uh, but Dr. Nambi Narayan's story and his invention and his contribution to the country, uh, you know, we should never have another Nambi Narayan, not just in India, but in any country, because we need these scientists in the future. In the years to come, intellectual capital is going to be of the greatest importance and wealth, and we need to travel to space. And, um, sorry, uh, we need to travel to space uh, uh, much, uh, uh, much quicker than you and I imagine. So, uh, please go see this film. Uh, in theaters on the 1st of July, and if you like it, please do recommend it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Jai.